Hey y'all, I'm in the guest room. It's still a mess. And I'm about to, I'm about to, that's a lie. I've already started. I like to put this like kind of rubbery liner contact paper stuff in the drawers just to kind of keep the drawers nice. And I got this from, it comes in rolls. Like this is the longer roll and then there's like a shorter chubbier roll and I just got them from Bed Bath & Beyond. So I have some left over and I need to finish lining some of these drawers. This room will not be used very much, uh, this bathroom or vanity area I guess I should say because um, it's the guest bedroom and I'm not going to have guests every weekend but like I'll show you. So I'm going to kind of use this vanity area, if you will, for some extra storage. Like that's going to be some of the vases that we have. I have more in the kitchen, but I think I'm just going to move all the vases to over here because it's easier for me to access that. And right now I'm going to be storing our travel toiletry items over here. This is just junk that needs to be put somewhere else. And then in the drawers, I have nothing so far in the bottom. It needs to be lined. And I just have some extra hand towels and such. But I'm going to buy like a cute little bowl or something. And then put the extra hand towels and washcloths and stuff in there. And this one already has a liner in it. That's what it'll look like when it's done. Except it won't be bunched up. There. So I try to do this sort of neatly and kind of follow along a row of these like square things, but um, it's sometimes I just try to go faster, but yeah, I try to be neat, but it's, it's also, this stuff is kind of like stretchy. Well, it is stretchy. And so it's not necessarily perfectly square anyway. So try not to stress about it. And then I just place it in the drawer. And like I said, it's not going to be perfect because the this stuff is like stretchy, rubbery kind of stuff. Like not super stretchy, but a little bit. And it's not perfectly square, so I don't I don't worry about that. It's just to kind of protect the shelves. And then I put this in the recycle bin. So for breakfast, I made Marvin. Some biscuits and gravy, but I did not make homemade gravy. I haven't made homemade gravy in forever, actually. This made Pioneer Baking Company. Baked in San Antonio, by the way. If you didn't know that, fun fact. Um, I made their gravy, their country sausage flavored gravy. Usually I make the um, pepper, but I didn't buy the wrong kind, I just didn't buy the right kind. Pioneer Baking has great gravies. I, I like them. I think they taste homemade. So, but at yesterday's marketplace, at yesterday's marketplace, I bought a loaf of, as you would have seen, Mother Earth Natural Baked Goods in mesquite honey wheat bread it contains eggs milk and wheat this food is made in a home kitchen and is not inspected by the department of state health services or a local health department so you've been warned so i'm gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches for us and while i was also at the marketplace why are you not hmm He's not opening. Oh, there we go. While I was also there, I bought the ingredients for cucumber tomato salad. So I'm gonna make that to go with our lunch and it'll be yummy. This was produced or grown locally. I'm not sure where their farm is, but anyway. Happy Sunday evening. I am at home. It's 1040. My cats are driving me nuts. 
I can't find the squirt bottle because sometimes we use the squirt bottle to get them to stop like scratching on the furniture and stuff. I can't find it. And I'm out of breath because I was like, stop, stop scratching. And yeah, so Marvin didn't feel good today. So we didn't go to church and battery's almost dead on this camera. Got another battery charging, can't find the third battery. I'm sure it's somewhere. And tomorrow, tomorrow I do have a coffee date slash hot chocolate date with my friend Amy, who I met at Starbucks. And then I have a meeting tomorrow night. So it's getting later. And I've gotta go get the battery before I forget. But it's like 11, oh my God, it's 11.40. Oh my gosh, it is so late. I did not need, mean to stay up this late or need to stay up this late. But I've got the coffee date in the morning with my friend. Marvin doesn't feel well and got the battery. What else? Got lots of stuff to do. Got a meeting tomorrow night. And um, yeah, it's, but it's going to be awesome. Today was awesome too but uh, made grilled cheese sandwiches, made cucumber tomato salad. Um, I had broccoli slaw with feta cheese for dinner and it was really good and oh my gosh, I don't know, but I'm getting caught up. I promise you guys, I'm getting caught up. I'm posting more on Instagram. Lots of stuff is happening. My daughter, my other daughter's coming for a visit. So lots more stuff will be happening. That's gonna be fun and exciting. And I can't wait for you guys to come along for the ride. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to be kind and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.